Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Yesterday, probably our most successful daily of all time. If we go back and look at our friends list there. I was 67th, which I'm pretty impressed with, I gotta be honest with you. I'm happy with that one. Uh, K was 319th, which is really good as well. A lot of people put down pretty good uh, performances. Uh, we'll just ignore the Gen S and the Emerson down there at the bottom. Life goes on, you know, uh, long after the, the thrill of living is gone sometimes in these dailies. Today... Wow, Mathis has a great score. Actually, everybody has a really good score. This is a... Shoal with Lilith run, is that correct? It looks like it. 38,000 points on a Lilith Shoal run. How does this happen? Midas Touch seems like that it answers part of our question here to begin with. Uh, gives us a fantastic... Ability to spawn extra coins, and then this curse room was also wonderful for us as well. Um, I guess we'll see is the, the answer to this question. I have heard some things about today's daily. Ma mainly I've heard that there are great opportunities uh, for really, really high scores if we can get into that hush fight. Someone said something about a hush. Hush, uh, little baby, don't say a word. You're, the secret is to spawn just a bunch of turds. So if we can get a... Uh, Card against humanity, apparently that is uh, kind of integral to getting that score as high as possible. We'll see though, I'm not going to sweat it too much, as always. We're going to start out just by focusing on taking as little damage as possible outside of productive damage, like uh, going to curse rooms and stuff like that. And uh, our first curse room was very, very productive for us. Probably not going to be too interested in going to the secret room, because I don't know where it is, and not too interested in going to the shop, because we don't have the money for it, but maybe on the next floor. Also, probably for the future, let's try to actually use a box of friends more than zero times. Let's see what we got. Famine, not too bad. A really, actually, beyond not too bad, obviously great for the mom fight specifically, and any enemy, if we get any form of invincibility, like Nod Leaf, Midas Touch, enemy gets close to us, they get burned down by Midas Touch as well as the Cube of Meat. Plus, box of friends will uh, easily allow us to get a second level Cube of Meat every time we use it. Possibly even higher if we get more cubes of meat in the future, or if we um, if we can get like a AAA battery or a nine volt or something like that. But let's not get too up our own butts when it comes to strategy yet. Let's just focus on the obvious stuff. Like obviously we're gonna be taking ball of bandages. Probably better than cube of meat, I suppose, because you get the actual uh, charm effect out of the second level as well. Um, okay, so no brainer, no brainer. Probably a no-brainer to trade a bomb for a key at this point. Wow, that is a really decent amount of money. We basically have 13 cents because I could always pick up those other two for the cost of two bombs, but I'd, I'd rather not do that yet. Maybe we'll do it in the future. So I think what really carried us on yesterday's run, obviously part of what did it is the fact that we uh, took the shovel, whereas a lot of people probably didn't and instead, you know, focused on something else. Uh, which allowed us to get one extra floor out of it, kind of like by default making us, uh, like way up there. We do not want Bob's, uh, rotten head. But the other thing was that our damage penalty was just very, very, very low. Now that doesn't mean that, uh, I had, uh, like no preventable damage. I still definitely did take some damage I should not have, especially walking into spikes. But, uh, apart from that, we were very lucky to not take very much damage. So hopefully we can kind of, uh, replicate that today. And that'll be the easiest way for us to make sure that we uh, have a chance to rank as highly as we've done. I mean, Luke showed me my last 10 runs, and every single one of them is in the top 500. So I'm really actually, if I may toot my own horn, I'm impressed with that. I'm impressed with the relative consistency that we've had lately. You know, top top 500 is uh, it's a pretty nice position to be in sometimes. Uh, top 100, even better if you can swing it, I guess. Two of spades. Well worth the purchase. Uh, I don't really want wooden nickel. I do want this. At the very least, we got the uh, secret room access. Two pretty flies. Wow, this is a really high quality seed so far. Health upgrade doesn't hurt either. Um, would I use another bomb to do this? I think I would. There we go. And we got two bombs out of it, so basically literally paid for itself. Uh, hopefully we get a small rock here. As if I haven't been lucky enough already, but you know, everybody's getting the same lucky on this run. As long as you're doing your part. Second secret room contains a third pretty fly, which is ridiculous. We can't even take it. A speed upgrade. 
Retrovision, a health downgrade, and addicted. I'm gonna pop two of spades and hold the health downgrade. So that after this deal with the devil, presumably I'll be able to uh, get my HP back. So basically the deal with the devil is free, and then we can pick up... Oh, we could have not used our two of spades and just picked it up later, but I didn't think that far ahead. Small room pin fight, no big deal. Wow, pentagram, possibly a very big deal, and two black cards. Which means no deal with the devil, really, and also no ability to use our health downgrade. Somewhat disappointing. I hate this freaking incubus in here, man. He's so hard to kill. Stop teleporting. Stop getting knocked back. We'll head down to our next floor feeling pretty good. I mean, we did pretty much everything we could on that floor. And hopefully we get a deal with the devil on this floor to compensate for the fact that we got a shitty one on the last floor. But it, it doesn't matter too, too much right now. Like, we're definitely strong enough to... To get through the first few floors of this game without having to worry about any extra uh, problems we could be facing right now. I think we don't use Box of Friends against Wrath. Because he's easy enough to kill without it. Um, and instead we save it for the uh, mob trap room which we have to go into. Sorry, I might sound a little hoarse. I'm starting to feel a little under the weather as well. Usually, I'll get a little hoarse, and then it'll just, you know, become a full-fledged pony, and then I'll sing the genuine song of the same name. It's not really a song. It's more of a piece, you know, like a classical music for sure. Um, but uh, normally, it, it'll, it just goes away after like a day or so. I have like an immune system. It lets stuff in. I have an immune system in case you didn't know. But yeah, it lets stuff in, but then it kills it. It's like, you know... The sickness comes in and is like, hey, we're going to infect your body. And then, uh, you know, the immune system turns on it. White blood cells uh, surround and destroy. And then the illness is like, it's just a prank, bro. Wasn't actually going to kill you. When you think about it, you know, infectious diseases, they have like the most Pyrrhic victories of all time, right? It's like, they need a host to survive. But at the same time... They inhibit the ability of their host to survive. It's like, you know, if your disease is truly successful, you're killing the people that you infect. You can't spread. It's a self-contained... I don't know what I'm talking about. This is like, a, it was supposed to be a joke, but instead it, it didn't end up firmly in joke territory. Also, I did not use Box of Friends, and I feel very silly about it because I got off on my own tangent. Relatively minor mistake, depending on who you ask. So maybe we'll use Box of Friends here. Not that I think this room's gonna be... Ooh, I could have easily been hit there. Not that I think this room's gonna be super tough, but, um... You know, it is kind of a conclosed... Uh, conclosed? An enclosed space, which can be a slight problem. Really hoping that we can get something from our, uh... Our shop that actually... Well, first off, a key is nice. Secondly, humbling bundle. That's not really what I was looking for. I was more looking for, um... You think this is a second secret room? I was more looking for anything that gives us a better battery charge kind of economy right now. AAA battery uh, for sale or uh, Sackboy gives us a ton of batteries or 9 volts. Even the battery itself would be good because we could... Uh, no, Oh, there is a tinted rock there. The battery itself would be good because we could uh, actually save up our charges and then use two of them at the same time. Get a third level bandage girl, which is probably like way more proportionally useful than um, than a second level one. Not that that's bad. It would actually be awesome if we could get a uh, such stupid damage. But if we can get a pestilence fight here, I'm really mad at myself for taking that damage, trying to dodge in there with Cuba meat. Let's put a stop to that shit right away. Scapular, it's okay. Where the heck is our secret room? Getting a little a little confused here. These guys are going to be a little annoying. We got kind of like Incubus as Lilith is is great, except I find myself running into the soy milk problem sometimes where I'm like, I hit an enemy, they get knocked back. It takes me forever to retarget them. Wow, we don't have uh, a box of friends charge here for a mega fatty, mega fatty fight. Uh, that's annoying. This is also a champion mega fatty, which is even more annoying. Wow, uh, I probably should have been hit there, if we're being honest. And by probably, I mean 100% definitely should have been hit there. Three pretty flies means I'm not too concerned about these shots coming in. If I can't dodge them, then uh, hopefully my uh, orbitals will get in the way. Kind of a big mistake to not have a uh, box of friends ready for this, though. 
Come on. Almost got him. We're safe. And we got to deal with the devil. Maybe we fight Krampus and it's all worthwhile to have saved that, uh, that charge. I don't know about Temperance, man. This is more along the lines of what we'd want. Uh, I don't really want to take the Razor Blade, even though we could take it for free. I'd rather save our health down pill for later. Goat Head, obviously huge. Speed Up, obviously nice. Um, I know that there's a lot of Red Hearts in here, but I really feel like the best thing to do, unless you're going to commit to an IV bag like Breaking Run, is to just go for... Uh, just go for the lowest damage penalty possible. I really feel like sacrificing your, your HP to play the Blood Bank, for the most part, isn't worth it, but... I'd be interested to hear, uh, you know, Devil's Advocate on that. I know that Mathis, on a couple of those runs where he beat me, that was his strat. He's like, he tunnel visions for the IV bag. I watched one of his recent episodes and he he says he's not going to do that so much anymore. Which makes me think that if, if he got some good scores with it, but he's deciding that it's not the optimal way to continue, probably it's not the optimal way to continue. Alright, there's a good box of friends usage. Let's stop being so uh, tight-lipped with it here and be tight-nipped instead. What does tight-nipped mean? Well, you know when it's cold out and you... No, I'm not gonna go down that road. Attack Fly. Look, there is a reroll machine in here. I think Attack Fly is good enough, honestly. Uh, battery Baby, I will take. Every extra battery charge could be pretty nice. Another nickel. Let's not waste uh, unnecessary money on consumables. And that's gonna be another 19 cents right there. Battery Baby giving me some extra charges. Uh, Attack Fly giving me another ability to deal damage without actually having to line up Incubus, which is really nice. In my opinion, at least. Again, I would love to fight uh, Pestilence on... Oh, probably should have been hit there. I would love to fight Pestilence on this floor just so we could... Uh, uh, just so we could guarantee ourselves a third level cube of meat whenever we use Box of Friends, but... May or may not be in the cards for us. Oh my lord. I, I, got a, I got a little impatient there. Yeah, I had a feeling we were probably going to take damage. Because of my own uh, impatience, but that's okay. Now we can really use BFF, actually. BFF is like a top-tier Lilith item. But especially when we've got these orbitals working for us. Thank you for the spirit heart. I mean, this is one of those runs right now where I'm like, we're in like no risk of death. I hate this champion Mega Maw. Is this the one? Well, okay, he's spawning spiders so far. I don't know where we got that uh, freezing effect from, but I like it. Um... Maybe this isn't the champion Mega Ma I'm thinking of that has the really ridiculously powerful, uh, like, wave shot attack. No, he just spawns spiders. That's not so bad. Oh, this is really good. Okay, so let's not take the Halo yet so we can get the best use possible out of health down. And then we get Brimstone, and our damage is awesome. So we got nothing to worry about here. We'll take our health upgrade. We'll take Halo. Uh, oh, I really shouldn't have done that because we could have gone into our boss trap room. Okay, this is fine. Uh, let's do a little bit more exploration. And, okay, this is where I start to get displeased with myself. Wow, okay, I lived. High Priestess, uh, very good. I'm super... Oh, no, I can still get in here because I don't have the full HP yet. This is awesome. This is actually a huge point bonus for us. And, uh, well, relative at least uh, to the, the potential norm. But... Uh, the fact that we can have two brimstone lasers, like, relatively close together, basically you get, like, a double damage brimstone, is awesome. Not gonna quite one-shot, uh, one-shot peep, but that's okay. Looks like a four-shot. He is dead. And we want to be out of this floor by 1330. Wouldn't hurt to be a little bit faster than even that. Blood Bank, uh, I'm not too interested in. Although I will play a Demon Judgment from time to time. What's the difference between a Demon Judgment? This isn't a joke, by the way. <laughs> but what's the difference between a, a, a Demon Judgment and a Blood Bank? Well, a Demon Judgment has a chance to give you an item that's worth the risk to take. Uh, double Key Room. Oh, but we're so good. Oh, I can't do it. I can't. I, I will stop. Uh, okay, so I did it. Why did I do it? I never had a choice, man. No, uh, I, I took this... Fucking fire mine, man. I took this knowing full well this will make our run worse. We are going to be worse off as a result of our reroll decision. But I did it, because if I don't do it, who will? Admittedly, uh, no matter what I did there, you know, we were fucked. If I didn't do it, people would be like, what are you, what are you doing? You gotta, you're the absurd man. 
If I did do it, which I did, people are gonna be like, whoa, why, why would you do it? You had a great run. Yeah, but this is not maybe a great run, but it is a unique run, which is truly great. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. I hope we're still able to do boss rush. We're gonna give this the old college try, and at this point, what I've done is basically given myself easy bragging rights. As as shitty as that sounds, basically this means if I if I beat someone and they had brimstone, then I have bragging rights. Oh, you had brimstone? I rerolled into fruitcake fire mind. So uh, yeah. Fuck me, I guess. We're gonna check this out, of course, and I like it. Every deal with the devil so far, although this one does not contain anything of value. Except for an infested pill. Um, Cricket's head would be nice, or Guppy's head, or any space bar item. I just realized that with our six room... Do we have Holy Mantle? We might have Holy Mantle. Um, with our six room, we also lost Box of Friends. This is really bad. <laughs> Why? We don't have Holy Mantle. Um, basically traded Box of Friends for uh, little Steven. We do have the... Uh, we do have Bloody Lust. There's something to be said about that. We don't have bad damage. I could really use, like, Tammy's head. That's a very common, decent spacebar item that would help me out here. But we're, we're kind of in tight now, I'll admit. Some of the tier effects I'd, I'd rather not have, like Fire Mine, for example. Some of them I'm gonna love, like whenever we get the Godhead ability. Okay, maybe this is where we choose to use High Priestess, and then we just go to town on this guy, and our deal with the devil sucks, but we will take Magic Mush. Plenty of time. You know, truth be told, this run is not bad. I have made it substantially worse, but it's not bad. Ooh, be careful. And the reason that I do this is because one day, I'm gonna reroll a sure thing, an amazing run, and it's gonna reroll into something even better. And then I can disproportionately often remember that story. Oh, it's a wooden nickel or something. I can't remember. There's, I think there's a way to get that, but I don't recall what it is, so I'm not gonna sweat it too much. Pretty fly. Hey, we can actually use that. No, actually, ours stuck around with us anyway. Okay. That was terrible damage, but to be expected, unfortunately. Liberty Cap? I haven't really used Liberty Cap that much lately, but it's it's kind of an old standby. There are situations in Rebirth where I used uh, Liberty Cap on like almost, you know, like every single run in a row. We want to be out of this floor by 16.30. That's our standard like split time for this. I think we have, uh, we don't, we don't have a realistic chance of getting out of here by 16.30, but it's, we're gonna be, like, within 10 seconds, probably. Oh, black bean, exquisite, thank you, yes, very nice, okay. Um, probably what we're looking to do is save our strength card for boss rush. That gives us, you know, the magic mushroom effect for damage on top of our magic mushroom effect for damage. So we should have, like, four times what our damage was before we picked up the original magic mushroom. Really, really, really would like a space bar item. That would be awesome. We cannot do that, at least not yet. Uh, it doesn't look like the guppy transformation is in the cards for us here either, so... I wouldn't get uh, your hopes too high of getting like a sweet hive mind uh, run here. I mean, look at this, our damage is still really good. I can't be too... wow. Uh, can't be too displeased with this run. The obvious damage we're going to do to ourselves because of Fire Mind is super annoying, but life goes on. As long as we have enough HP, at least life goes on. And Homing Tears, largely helping us out enough to be excited about, with the Fruitcake especially. Um, sometimes the Fruitcake good, sometimes the Fruitcake bad, but... Chariot card. Um, shall we? Why not? That's not our arcade, I've noticed. Um, Take your key. Um, yeah, that I was in the wrong place on the map. We're going to use our chariot card here on the arcade, and I guess just play as much of the demon judgment as we can. Hopes maybe we get ceremonial robes. I'll still play a little bit here. Come on. Come on. I believe. 
No more pills, man. I don't want to ramp up my damage penalty that high. Oh my god, the Bible. Uh, the Bible, I think that's really bad. Uh, is is really overrated. Uh, don't take that out of context. But is uh, oh, we got a Seraphim transformation, so we can fly. Um, the Bible, I think, is really overrated as far as space bar items go. Killing mom instantly and mom's heart instantly is typically yes. <laughs> there you go. Is typically not worth uh, the space bar item slot, especially when time is like not really of the essence, uh, as it is not for us right here. So, I think we're just going to go fight Mom immediately. Our damage is actually awesome. It's no Brimstone, but it's it's pretty solid. We'll take the Polaroid. Yeah, because why not? And we'll go in here, and we'll take Guppy's head to get the Guppy transformation started. But we're going to stick with Blue Candle. And then we'll go into Boss Rush, which we have to. Pop our Strength card. We have a D6. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Um... I think it comes down to Tractor Beam or the D6, and let's fucking take the D6, it'll be weird. Let me reroll that into Chocolate Milk. Well, we're doing an awful lot of damage with this Chocolate Milk run we've started here. It's really hard to aim. <laughs> it's like really, really hard to aim. And it sucks when your shot ends up being like fruit caked into something you can't even use. But um, I can't deny that we're doing a lot of damage. Especially with the homing tiers available here. So I think that maybe this is a little bit of a blessing in disguise. Certainly a weird one. Rerolls fully charged up for whatever comes our way next. How does this run look from a, uh, a hush fighting standpoint? I don't think we got any problem with that whatsoever. Chocolate milk, I was a little skeptical to take because I, I think our rate of fire was like pretty uh, big of an advantage for us. But it's actually working out really, really nicely. And the explosions are not killing me as much. Maybe because we actually, oh, okay, there we go. Very fitting. Um, but maybe because we control our shots a little bit more, I can, I can actually like decide not to use, or not to fire as often as I was firing before. Oh my god, the sticky bomb shot, man. And as a result, be less likely to be taken by surprise. Um, with a, oh god. With an explosion. Man, if we can get sad bombs with this run, that would be awesome. Oh, shielded tears. Now's not the time for shielded tears. I didn't even realize we'd started the second phase of that yet. Angel Statue will be dead in like four hits? Five hits? Well, that's a little cost prohibitive. Mask of Infamy shouldn't be a problem. Just prioritize any enemy that can hit you from afar. I don't know how we created that fire there, but... I do think that we ended up making a good decision. Not on the reroll. The reroll is still obviously very likely to be objectively the wrong decision if we're just going for the best score possible. I mean, think of how we've affected our damage penalty as a result of this Fire Mine pickup, but... Um, at the same time, the the chocolate milk... Uh, oh, that was very dumb as well. The uh, chocolate milk D6 combination that we got here is hilariously good. That'll kill him. That might be our final wave, honestly. Yeah. Um, I mean, Mom's Wig is pretty good, but what if we rerolled them instead? I regret this decision. <laughs> oh, well. We'll head down to the next floor. I really just don't want Marked. I don't know how it works with chocolate milk. Maybe it synergizes amazingly. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so far so great. Did you see how quickly we killed Boss Rush? Now, admittedly, you might be saying our tears are so much smaller now. That's, um, we'll do this. Oh, sneeze. Nice! <coughs> I don't know if that actually works with um, Magic Mushroom, but... It may or may not, but um, that's because we have Bloody Lust, so... You know, we, we got hit a lot on our last floor, got the maximum damage penalty, which is actually a bonus, and we'll be, uh... We'll be trying to rebuild that in a constructive fashion, but even if we don't, we're still like one or two shotting most enemies, so... Oh god, explode! We're still uh, one or two shotting most enemies, including bosses, so... I'm not really very concerned about, you know, forcing Bloody Lust to work if it's not in the, in the cards for us here. Wow, how did I not get hit at least once there? Yo, Incubus, thank you. 
Check this out. Ooh, Demon Judgment. Well, don't dislike the idea of playing a Demon Judgment and trying to get uh, an item. I know that's a spirit heart we just spent, but we got the pills and we get a reroll pedestal. Probably even more important. Tears down. What a great uh, haul we got there. That's what we're looking for. The Pact. We also just got the Demon Transformation. Okie dokie. <laughs> wow. I really like the Godhead shots. That is a... Uh... That's an element of fruitcake that I can get down with for sure. So the packed pickup there was really good. Even though we re-rolled our whole run, this has ended up being a really, really fun one. I feel like I've kind of come alive over the course of the back half of this run. And you know what? That's thanks to the re-roll. A brimstone pickup is a brimstone pickup is a brimstone pickup. You know, it's fun, it's fine, but at the same time, eh, dime a dozen. This full run re-roll into, uh, into parts unknown is a little bit more interesting to me. So we are not going to go into the other rooms. We're just going to try to make sure we can fight Hush. Which we should be able to. Yeah, growth hormones is definitely worth it. No deal with the devil. Down to the next floor. We want to make sure we're able to fight Hush because there's such a huge like point bonus for getting there. And then we'll figure out what the fuck we're going to do on, uh, on the next floor. That was really dumb of me. I don't think there's, like, we found out on the last run, there's no way to use, like, the shovel to get past, uh, to get past, uh, Shoal. So, I'm pretty sure that that's where our run is gonna have to end. Unless I'm grossly mistaken. Okay, we could use the heart, I guess. Might as well check our curse room. Our last one did end up being really worthwhile. Spiders and bombs. I mean, obviously that one wasn't as good, but the... The spiders are okay, and the bombs are not bad. Or is it, the bombs are not bad as long as we don't get hit. The spiders could be really, really good if we find our boss room in time for them to be really useful. Okay, unlimited bombs. I just wanted to check and see if we had any special bombs. I hadn't really given that the too much priority. Okay, there's our boss fights. Looks like it's down and to the left. No tinted rocks. I'm really happy with the way this daily has gone. I think that... Oh, yes. We will, uh, we could re-roll it, though. I mean, infestation is obviously not nearly as good. We gotta break the... We gotta break the poop, man! But, um... It, we're basically comparing infestation to a single health upgrade. What's a single health upgrade worth? Very, very little at this point in the game. If anything, maybe we got, we're better off because we saved the 20 points or whatever it was. Oh, that was dumb. That was not, the second one I'm not going to classify as dumb just because I didn't see it coming. Second secret room. I'm going to blow this up even though we could play it and maybe get a benefit out of it. Uh, as long as we live, oh, that sucks. But as long as we live long enough to at least beat Hush. I'm going to be pretty stoked with this run. It's probably not going to be up there in the 38,000 range. If it is, that's awesome. I really doubt it will be, though. Um, I don't mind a Krampus fight. Wish we had a reroll available, but that's okay. Lump of coal would be really nice right now, which is exactly what we got. Um, it's it's a fun run, and I know that this run is going to look different than the runs that most other people have done. Not to, you know, toot my own horn too much. Host hat is actually essential for us. It will make us immune to explosions. So that is a no-brainer. And then in here, I was looking for a Tinted Rock. Infamy, I mean, it has to be considered probably the better choice. In our shop, we get Sackboy. Hugely valuable. Give me a battery charge, too. Oh, two battery charges. You're too kind. I think we actually take Fanny Pack so that we can, uh, you know, benefit from being hit. Two of hearts, not worth too much. Well, people were talking about a card against humanity pill on this, uh, on this hush fight. I don't see it, unfortunately. Strength is going to be great for us, though. And what was the, the other one was two of hearts. I think we're better off with a strength card. Yeah, let's just do it. The host head is actually like a really, really clutch pickup there. Pop the strength card. Do some damage. Uh, where did that sack come from? You know what? I bet we had... Uh, head of the Keeper for that. And then it paid out with some pennies. Head of the Keeper from Fruitcake, I guess. It paid out with some pennies. Pennies are sacks, thanks to Sackboy. And there we go. That's Bob's your uncle, right? Alright. Hoping for God headshots. What's sweet about Firemind against Hush is that he will have, like, consistent damage, uh... 
from the fire that actually ends up on top of him. I don't know if that's actually a good thing, because maybe it like keeps his armor at its highest possible level, but for now, we're doing great work. Just keep it up. Being immune to explosions has helped me out a great deal. That's what we're looking for. Godhead shots, holy light shots. Come on, you know, he thinks the lady doth protest too much a little bit here. You just freaking pop up. You know you're going to die on this run. Like, your, your life is already over. It's just a matter of how long it takes. We must have, like, actually shielded tears. Because we're they're exploding way too much. Way more than you would expect, at least. Thanks to Fire Mind and what I can only assume is lost contact. Which is really annoying for when I want to hit a shot in there, but... I, I would say that we're probably not doing too badly right now. Halfway through. What are we looking for? 38,000? I don't know. We might be up there. I'm, I will admit that oftentimes I'm like, oh, we got no chance to get that score. And then we get it. And people are like, why were you sandbagging, man? I wasn't intentionally sandbagging. It's just, you know, it seemed unlikely. And now, like, the unlikeliness is, is potentially coming true. I want to see what this rune is, but keep myself out of harm's way a little bit. Da gods. We'll just use that right now. Okay, stand still. Oh, the godhead shots are just so beautiful. Tiny planet shots, less so. Tiny planet shots don't really provide us with too much benefit. Oh, it's got... Uh, we're not mean to explosions, so I guess we don't have to sweat it that much. Yeah, the holy light shots are like A number two. A number one is our... Uh, is our godhead. Man, I love that these continuum shots are not getting busted up by my own uh, potentially shielded tears. Flies can still hurt me. Stand still. Get ready for the beams of light from heaven shot. Dude, if you, like, the two most annoying attacks that Hush does are the continuum shots and beams of light from heaven. But I would take the continuum shots a thousand times over beams of light from heaven at all. Because some of those shots, you just do not have the speed necessary to get out of the way. That was beautiful. Okay. Probably one beam of light attack. Ooh, maybe not. Oh, there it is. Incubus! One more, one more, one more, one more. There we go. Easy. Well done. Uh, no, uh, no card, though. No card against humanity. What do we want to take with us, then? Hermit, Temperance, Death. I mean, I guess we'll take the fucking Death card, but... Not that thrilled about it, but it looks like we will come out with a win here, and, and I'm pleased that we've got kind of an unorthodox one, as I've said a thousand times already, but... Alright, being able to one-shot enemies is beautiful. We will, of course, take uh, all the time necessary to do every available room here. You know what I'm ready for? Not to sound cocky. There was that period where we had, like, almost exclusively lost dailies. I'm ready to go back to, like, one lost daily a week. We haven't had one in a while, and uh, I, w I would love to, to be honest with you. I think a, a Lost Daily where you start with Holy Mantle in the D4 is a really fun, but still relatively accessible test of skill. I was one of the people who kind of felt that the Lost mechanics were actually fine as is. Uh, yes, an extremely difficult character, who the game is not balanced for them at all, but uh, I was uh, I was okay with that. But I, I agree, actually, that the changes made to the Lost make it much more fun to actually play. Without taking away the fact that it's still an extremely difficult character. Even if Cobalt got a 10 streak with the, with the Lost. Which is extremely impressive. A hundred times easier than it used to be, but... Still uh, one of the more difficult characters in the game, of course. Uh, I haven't unlocked the Keeper myself, but I hear the Keeper may be more difficult, which is why I said one of the most difficult. Emperor card? I mean, it saves us some backtracking. I can't believe that death doesn't kill these guys in one hit. Is there any chance we lose this? What is going on here? Man, I really hope that that was a six room. <laughs> okay, sure, I'll open it. Yeah, Book of Revelations. Use it for a spirit heart. Um, is there any chance that we lose this? I mean, it is theoretically possible, I guess. There's another key. Uh... Pretty unlikely, but still uh, a theoretical possibility. 
Ah, we have a respawn though, so I'm looking at it and I'm like, we're, we're probably 100% set. It just depends, hopefully it doesn't depend at all on what the respawn is, but if it's like Lazarus Rag, that could be slightly trickier. Um, so it's really like, usually I get like three or 4,000 points after the run ends, so we'll be in like the 35 range. Could put us in the top two or 300 on the daily today. I could, I can sleep easily uh, with that uh, result, I think. Which is a little bit, you know, uh, over the top uh, description of how I'd feel after a fucked up daily. But I, you know, I do, uh, I'm, I'm hard on myself about shitty dailies. If I do really poorly on the daily, like dying as Judas on the first floor of that one daily, I was like, that bugged me for at least like half an hour afterwards. I was like, in a slightly worse mood as a result. I wouldn't say it ruined my day, but uh, I was like, I can do better than that. Uh, might as well blow up the key beggar. Now our odds of dying go down drastically. I'm happy to see that uh, so many people on my friends list also did really well on today's daily. That's cool when you see, uh, you know, a bunch of people in the 30,000 range and be like, eh, it's, I got some high quality friends when it comes to this game. Well, at least in terms of their uh, ability to play. As, as friends, they're of course human trash. I'm joking. Well, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> One man's human trash is another man's human treasure. So we might as well do our final rooms here. I really thought we'd get all three with one shot, but you're close. But no cigar. Pop that. Go into our fight. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of hesitant to use bombs, because like our shots are also bombs. It feels like we're just throwing points and bombs away, but whatever gets the job done, I guess. Okay. Any way that we can just increase the DPS we're doing is probably good enough. Satan very, very nearly dead, okay. Now I would really like to have uh, some fires on the ground so when the feet come down they hit the fires. But we've already won, okay. No problems there. Pick up the eternal heart, finish the run, a nice kind of like casual daily today. Wow, our score is actually not very good, 659th, that's fair. Disappointed with my damage penalty, and of course, uh, we probably slowed down a little bit as a result of our, um, as a result of the fact that we rerolled our whole run. Good score from Mathis as well, top 100 score is really good. Sorry, Larson, looks like I got you this time. I hope you guys enjoyed this run. Uh, obviously not much of a min-max for high score, but a fun one nonetheless. If you enjoyed it, click the like button, it helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you wanna see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.